He came by collecting money for Winston Tree yesterday. You would never Hey, what can I do for you? Everything you need? No, man. I haven't been back to Popstar since I left Dog Eyes. I'm not sure how he's gonna take it. Want me to talk to him? Yeah. I'm just about out. So grab my next shipment and make sure everything is cool. Pop star? Who's asking? Look, I work for Winston. Dirty Ming's operating in our territory. I want to make sure he's supplied. Sure, I'll fix him up. But... But what? I gotta get paid in advance. I'll make it easy for you. A couple of deadbeat junkies owe me money. Guys used to deal for me before they became their own best customer. Collect what they owe me, and I'll help your man out. Ah! <laughs> 
the fuck is this? He's okay. One of Winston's guys. Yeah? Guess son on you will take on anyone these days. Who's that? Peng Shen? Best shit in Hong Kong? You got my money? Got your money. Here's your package. Tell Ming to stick with girls over 14 this time. It's the cops. Stay cool. Hey, you two! Come over here! Let's go! Stop! Uh, 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 rest. Tang? What have you found? I got enough to bust Popstar. But I also met a supplier, a guy named Fang Shen. Find out where he hangs out, and I'll see if I can get something on him. I'll get back to you. Stuff, right? Don't worry, I got your stuff right here. Now I can start making money again.
？做乜嘢啊？整同人啊！
another thing. Keep that low-life boyfriend away from our house. If you want to live in the gutter, at least don't bring it home with you. Wow. Inspector Tang, this is Wei. Fang Shan is down. Popstar will have to reach out to another supplier. I'm thinking we bag them both at once. I agree. Now, if I'm gonna get close to him, I'm gonna need a good disguise. Can you have your people send something over? All right. Keep me informed. Got it. Excuse me, do you speak English? I like to think so. Not enough to get by anyways. You? Yeah, I... Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I speak English. I kind of guessed. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place. Old Temple Academy. I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. I mean, it'll be easier than explaining where it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd be really great. My name's Amanda, by the way, or Amy. Either one is fine. Oh, nice to meet you, Amy. I'm Wei. I worked 80 hours this week to buy my daughter a dress. Hey, what can I do for you?
Can I help you? Yeah. I'd like to sign up for some kung fu classes. I read about your school in my guidebook. Ah, uh, your guidebook. Yeah. It said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, okay. And you, did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... Uh... Wait. I know you. Yes, Sifu Kwan. I used to be your student. I'm Wei, Wei Shen. Ah, yes. The one who went to America. So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. Now time to assess your skill level in Kung Fu. Try to steer them in the right direction, especially the younger ones. But they all want to be Songong Yi. Now, now I just train them in the ways of my art. Try to teach them compassion and discretion, and pray for the best. See, if I don't think there's much more you can do. Oh, Jade Rat. Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years old or something. That's real? Part of a set of twelve. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. The Sifu? You used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen. By a former student. Corrupted by the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. <laughs> this collection meant a lot to me. Sometimes you just have to let things go. I should close up. It was good to see you again, Wei. And your lovely fiance. What? <laughs> okay, uh, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Uh, I need to get home, but uh, I will definitely call you later.
I found one of your statues. Oh, the dog. Excellent. I must confess, I was surprised to see you back. I had hoped that you might have escaped Hong Kong. Escaped its influences. Its problems. We took them with us when we left. So coming back didn't change much. Are you ready to confront them now? Yes, I think so. What would you like to learn? What's going on, Winston? It's Benny, manager of Club Bam Bam, old friend of mine. Now he's working for Dog Eyes. That Ham Gatan is getting back at us for taking his minibus route. Look, I'll go talk to Benny, make him see reason. Yeah. Yeah, wait, you go do that. You're doing. You don't look like you can afford to be here. We got standards to keep up. I got money, don't worry. I'm sure we can work something out. You make a good point. Have a good night, sir.
Hey, buddy. VIPs only. What's going on in there? This is one of the best karaoke rooms in the city. Nobody gets in without a hostess or the boss's approval. I'm sure we can work something out. Work something out with the hostess. Whoa. Damn. Hey, what's your name? I'm Tiffany. Nice to meet you. I'm Wei. Wei Shen. You're a karaoke hostess, right? Can you get me into the VIP room? Sure. Just come with me. You have a bit of an accent. Are you from around here? <laughs> yeah, originally, but, you know, I was in the States for a long time. Oh, that's so cool. I always wanted to go. So, uh, what's Benny like? Benny? You mean the manager? Yeah. Well, Benny's nice enough. He always makes sure you get paid on time. <laughs> Come on. Sing me a song. Listen, you know, I like it down here, but back home, I'm used to a little more. You'd be the person I'd talk to about that, right? Can I get a VIP room? Yes, of course. It's much nicer up there. Go ahead to the lounge upstairs. I'll get the room set up. Bye, way. They hate be one but can't beat us. I ain't the one that keep away neither. My team won't play with you. We know the wrong. Oh, hey, hey. Who the fuck are you? I'm looking for Benny. Hey, Benny! Yeah. Some guy here wants to talk to you. Hey, hey, what can I do for you? I have a message from an old friend, Winston Chu. What, 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 Winston? Well, that, that, this isn't such a good idea. I think you should leave. He wants you to know that Dog Eyes isn't your problem anymore. If he gives you any trouble, you let Winston know, and I'll take care of it, personally. You heard that, man. Get the fuck out of here. Everybody out of the club!
I know you're in there!
Uh, yeah. Relax, Benny. I'm not gonna kill you. Okay. Just listen. Okay. What do you want? Just what I said. Winston wants to be your friend. And what about dark eyes? Not your problem. I hope you're right. For my sake. Can I go now? Of course you can, Benny. You're late. Conroy's still watching. He's got a real hard on. Is your cover compromised? Well, you haven't fished me out of the harbor yet. All right. How are you doing? How am I doing? <laughs> Fuck, Raymond, where do I start? There's a civil war brewing in the sun on Yi. Winston and Dog Eyes escalated practically every day. Don't you read my fucking reports? I mean, you personally. How are you doing? <laughs> Look, Raymond, I gotta get back. Your state of mind is important, Wayne. It's important to me, it's important to how you do your job. Fuck you! I do my job just fine! Well, that's for me to decide! You mean Pendrew! Pendrew assigned me as your controller. And listen, Wayne, Pendrew may not be concerned about you, but I am. I know you have a personal stake here, but this cannot be a vendetta. We're cops. There are rules. You're a cop. I'm an undercover cop. The rules are different. And you're fucking concerned about me? You are an officer of the law, Wayne. Same as me. We are not the same. You understand? We done? Yeah, we're done. 